Something strange has slipped into our celestial backyard. Something uninvited. It isn't a planet and it isn't an asteroid. This is 3i Atlas, an interstellar object unlike anything we've ever tracked before. In just a few nights, it has ballooned in size by more than 250%. No impact. No fragmentation. No visible reason. Just a silent transformation in the dark. And the deeper NASA and independent observatories look, the harder it becomes to call it natural. At first, 3i Atlas appeared ordinary, a dim point of light drifting against the background of the stars. But when the follow-up data arrived, something didn't add up. Its velocity was wrong, not slightly off, completely outside the range expected for anything bound to the sun. The orbital models refused to lock. It wasn't orbiting us at all. It was passing through. When the parallax confirmed that trajectory, an unmistakably interstellar path, the tone changed instantly. Another visitor from beyond, like Aumuamua in 2017 or Borisov in 2019. Except this one wasn't faint or fleeting. It was brighter, slower, and vastly larger than both. So large that early size estimates now look embarrassingly small. By late July, it had earned its official designation. The third confirmed interstellar object to enter our solar system, 3i Atlas. Most scientists expected a familiar story, brief, mysterious, and gone before we truly understood it. But the first light curves hinted otherwise. Its brightness fluctuated too wildly for its distance, and its spectrum leaned red, a signature of heavy dust or metallic grains. Surface temperature readings suggested activity long before it reached the range where normal comets begin to vent. The official language was careful. The object exhibits properties not fully explained by standard models. In astronomy, that's the polite version of saying, we have no idea what this thing is. Every new dataset widened the gap between what Atlas should be and what it actually was. Then came the real anomaly growth without reason. At first, astronomers blamed calibration errors or bad atmospheric seeing, but the numbers kept repeating across different observatories, different hemispheres, different instruments. Each time the data were refined, 3i Atlas appeared physically larger. Most comets shrink as they approach the sun. They lose material, shed dust, erode. This one reversed that logic. Its apparent radius expanded as if something within were pushing outward. A global, uniform swelling, not the chaotic jets and fractures that comets usually show, but a smooth, steady inflation, as though the entire body were breathing. Scientists coined a phrase just to describe it, structural inflation. No one knew what it meant, only that it was the least wrong label available. Then came the mass problem. Estimates placed its weight thousands of times higher than Borisov and millions of times greater than Aumuamua. The math didn't fit. Interstellar objects of that scale shouldn't appear this often, once per decade at best, unless the galaxy is far more crowded with massive wanderers than our models allow. Either the statistics are wrong, or something is sending these bodies our way. Whatever the answer, Atlas didn't behave like random debris. Its weight, its stability, its symmetry, everything about it felt deliberate. Not necessarily intelligent, but engineered by physics we don't yet grasp. And its path, that was the strangest clue of all. Instead of plunging through the solar system at a steep, chaotic angle like most interstellar visitors, 3i Atlas slid almost perfectly along the ecliptic, the same thin plane where every major planet orbits. The fit was precise within tiny margins of error, so perfect that analysts checked for software bugs. The odds of such alignment by chance are roughly 1 in 500. It's not impossible, but it stretches coincidence to its breaking point. Some speculated that distant gravitational interactions might have nudged it into this cooperative path, but the energy transfer required was too exact. In a sky full of randomness, Atlas moved as if it belonged here, orbiting nothing, obeying no tether, yet tracing the same invisible highway the planets follow. A coincidence, perhaps, or design we don't yet recognize. By early October, Atlas began to vent gas, water, vapor, carbon dioxide, just like a normal comet. But once again, it broke the rules. When comets outgas, they move. 
Each jet acts like a thruster, slightly altering the orbit. The acceleration is small but measurable. For Atlas, it was zero. Despite clear signs of activity, its trajectory held perfectly steady. Some suggested symmetrical jets canceling each other out. Others pointed to extraordinary density. But the coma's brightness didn't support either theory. The math demanded drift, yet the motion stayed locked. A visibly active body with no recoil. That level of balance would require a rigidity far stronger than porous ice and dust. Whatever this thing is made of, it holds together like metal. Then geometry itself began to fail. Normally, a comet's tail points directly away from the sun. Sunlight and solar wind push dust outward, always the same way. But when observatories compared images across multiple wavelengths, the tail of 3I Atlas pointed slightly toward the sun, a reversal of one of the most reliable rules in planetary science. The anomaly was verified, logged, and filed under a footnote that simply read, Tail vector anomalous by plus 3-4 degrees confirmed. A small number on paper, a seismic crack in understanding. Tracing its orbit backward only deepened the mystery. Its velocity through the galaxy didn't match the stars near us. Instead, it aligned with an older stellar population known as the Thick Disk, ancient suns nearly twice as old as our own. If that's true, then 3I Atlas predates Earth by billions of years. Its chemistry supports the idea. Unusual CO2 to water ratios and absorption lines scarred by cosmic rays. It's not young. It's a fossil, a time capsule from a colder, darker era of the Milky Way, when metals were scarce and planets were just beginning to form. In that light, its anomalies may not be violations of physics at all just echoes of a universe still under construction. Still, Atlas exposes the blind spots in our assumptions. Our detection pipelines expect small, faint, fast objects arriving at odd angles. This one was bright, massive, coplanar, and unnervingly stable, the kind of target early algorithms might have dismissed as an error. Every outlier teaches us something, and Atlas is the loudest outlier yet. It reminds us that the universe doesn't care about our models. It moves the way it moves, and sometimes it throws a data point so clean, so improbable, that it forces us to rewrite the rules. And that's where the forbidden question emerges, the one astronomers almost never ask out loud. What if it isn't entirely natural? The term artificial won't appear in any official report, but behind closed doors, Simulations have quietly tested the idea. Could a hollow core explain the mass and stability? Could structured alloys mimic the spectral lines we see? None of it proves anything. Yet every time a model with engineered parameters fits the data better than a natural one, the question lingers a little longer. Maybe this object isn't a probe. Maybe it's a carrier. A vessel built billions of years ago and wandering ever since its purpose long forgot. For now, all we can do is watch. Tonight, November 1st, 2025, 3I Atlas is emerging from behind the sun, visible again after eight days of darkness. Its trajectory will tell the truth. If it's natural, it will behave like every other comet, predictable, fading, drifting outward into the void. If it isn't, the pattern will break and we'll know. Either way, this object has already changed how we see the universe. Because every once in a while, something arrives that refuses to fit. And in that refusal, it reminds us just how much we still don't understand. That's the story of 3I Atlas, a visitor from another star, a fossil older than Earth, a question written in light. Let us know what you think in the comments, and if you want to keep following the mystery, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. The next few days may decide whether 3I Atlas becomes another line in the history books or the first chapter of something entirely new.